Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to delete apps, uninstall them, which is the same thing, from your iPhone, iPad, or Touch. Now, this is on iOS 10, however, in iOS 9, 8, it's the same thing. So whatever iOS you're at, it's the same way to delete any app. So, let's do this. Um, let's just pick any random app right now, just to show you guys. So, I'm going to pick this one. So, all I have to do is hold my finger on top of that app. Okay, just hold your finger right there until it starts wiggling. Once it starts wiggling, you can just tap on the X on the left top hand side of that app. Once you do that, you guys are gonna get this message where you can just press delete. Once it's deleted, there you go, it's uninstalled. It's not taking up more room in your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch, okay? So you will have that storage back. Anyways, um, if you guys, for some reason, this is not working, you guys can always go into your settings. So let me just go into my settings. In settings, you guys can just scroll down. So you see general, tap on general. Then you guys are gonna look for restrictions. So here's restrictions and here we go. So some of you might have restrictions on and see down here below where it says deleting apps. So if you guys have this on, then you guys won't be able to delete apps. You guys might not even be able to install apps. So what I suggest doing is just turning off all restrictions. Uh, most of you don't need them. If you guys do want to keep some restrictions, just leave those whatever you guys want on and the other ones off. Remember to set up restrictions, you guys, when you first did this, uh, you set up a password. So you need that password. Uh, commonly, from what I've seen personally, the password is usually iCloud password not in all cases it depends what you guys set it up as okay so anyways that's it that's how you can delete or uninstall any app from your iphone um when i say any app by the way it doesn't mean apps that are built in what you can do with apps that are built in such as your photos for example app or messages or something like that you guys could just move them into something like this a folder and then you guys can just put that folder in your very last screen. So I don't have any hidden apps. I just put them in folders and leave them. But if I wanted to, I could just put them all, whatever I want, in a folder. Uh, to create a folder, again, you guys can just hold the app, just like we were gonna delete them. And then you guys can just move it over another app. Okay, just try to place it over another app until you guys see this folder pop up. And then you guys can just leave it there you guys can rename that folder to whatever you guys want, click done, then hit your home button to get out from this type of screen, and there I created this folder. Now to move this folder around, it's just like moving any app, all I have to do is just hold my finger on top of the folder and move the folder off to the side of the screen until it takes me to the next screen and so on. So let me just do that. So to the, there we go, and then I can just place it on the very last screen. So I can make one more screen up. There we go. And from there, I can just tap my home button and there we go, it's my last screen. All right, uh, if you guys want to delete any apps that are built in, like uh, I'm showing you that you, you can't, um, you can hide them like this. And don't worry about the space that they're taking up. Usually the built-in apps do not take space at all. So I know a lot of people want to do that because they want more space. But uh, what I suggest doing is always exporting and keeping your videos and large pictures in your computer and not your iPhone or iPad Touch if you don't have that many gigs. Uh, usually with 16 gigs, I know you don't have enough space, especially if you have the newer iPhones where you have 4K video, that takes a lot of space. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.